it got totaled. And it makes me sad in my heart. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Nacho, and I came out to visit Plan B Supply to see what new goodies they got. I brought my little man with me. Check out this Humvee. Somebody, somebody did a number on it. It got totaled. And it makes me sad in my heart. <laughs> But there's a lot of stuff that I want to steal off of it. <laughs> Look at this thing. It got annihilated. It was so nice too. Look at that. Had a Duramax in it even. Wonder. I have to wonder how much is salvageable off that thing. Oh, it looks pretty toast. Let's go see what else we can see. Now if you guys are not involved in the Humvee world. These guys take surplus Humvees and they basically pimp them out to however you want them. You can give them your specs on what you want and they'll pretty much build it how you want it. And they happen to be like 10 miles away from where we live. So we come every once in a while and see what's new and check out some Humvees and get some inspiration. I really. These aren't the fanciest seats, but they look good, and I really would like to upgrade to some of those eventually. Man, this sucker needs a lot of parts. There's not, not much on this Humvee. It's missing all its pillars. But yeah, this is this is what a Humvee looks like. <laughs> usually when you if you get one from an auction, this is usually what you'll get. But they usually have the pillars and some tops on it. And these guys don't just do Humvees. Pretty much any military type vehicle they can get their hands on and pimp out. Yeah, look at this cool truck over here. And they'll take these trucks and they'll make it look like a freaking inside of an RV in the back. They get so fancy. Look at that tire, a spare tire up on top. It's got a little winch system to pull that up there. One thing that I miss about when I first got my Humvee is the massive amount of center storage space that you have but we had to have somewhere to stick a car seat for little man so we had to put our bench seat in there and seeing this much space in the middle I'm like ah i miss having that option I, i'm trying to decide if there's a way i can do a quick disconnect on my back seat and still keep it safe who knows but it's a thought what you coming Humvees are like Legos for men. There's so many different configurations you can do with the Humvee. I mean, I don't even know what this does, but it's cool and I kind of want one. So you've got that, then you've got troop carrier top so guys can sit in the back. Another troop carrier top. Back there you can see the helmet top. I'm not going to lie guys, I'm tempted to get one of these. My wife hates the look of them, but it's a hard top, like a wagon style. This whole hard top. And then check that out. They've got storage compartments for like tools and stuff. 
and some of the ones have more of a bubble to them like a like an actual helmet and i don't like those ones i like the lower profile ones what'd you find dude an awesome rock cool dude but yeah so many options for humvees slant backs wagon style the troop carriers the regular soft top wagon like i throw on every once in a while <coughs> check out this one over here i don't like this look but a lot of guys like this look it's just the truck configuration it's made for two man this is a two man setup right here so if you look there's only room for two people in there gives you a little bit more room your your back doors they've got this little filler panel that takes up that back door which if you want to swap it back later on you throw some doors in there check out this rig over here this thing's pretty cool see this is one of the more helmet top types that I was talking about they go up a little bit more I don't quite like that look but it's very utilitarian check that out that's pretty cool actually I like the windows on that instead of the little storage doors you got more rocks they've got a matching trailer guys this is what I want to do but I can't afford a rooftop tent I've got the same trailer but I want one of these racks so I can throw a rooftop tent on it. But you have to have money to put a rooftop tent on there and you have to have money to have a custom rack built, which I have neither. The back of this is pretty slick looking. You can use that little ladder there to get up on top. I'd also like a roof rack, rack like that, even just to put a rooftop tent on. Oh guys, sad day. Look at, look at this carnage. Look at the carnage. What? That makes me sad. I like to off-road in the Humvee, but I know you guys have seen some of the decals on people's vehicles that says, don't forget you have to drive this home dummy. And I kind of have to live by that motto because my Humvee is my daily driver and I can't afford to break it because I don't have another vehicle. Check this one out here. Fire attacker. There are a lot of fire departments that will use these as brush trucks because they can get up into the mountains a lot easier than some of the other vehicles. So I wanted one of the custom center consoles, the new ones they make, but they know that I'm broke because I'm a family man. They can't buy all the toys that I would actually like they found a console that was custom built for another person that for some reason they didn't take it or they didn't use it. And they said, if this will fit in your Humvee with that rear bench, you can have it. So let's go take a look at that. It's, it might be a squeeze, but we might be able to modify it to fit. So we're going to go look at it. So this is the center console they're hooking me up with and I'm really hoping that this distance here will fit. It's got a, the whole thing's got to fit in here. I think once we get this radio tray out, I think we'll be good to go. I was thinking that that dog house came out this far, but that takes place or it might even fit over top of this. We gotta take all this out and then that slant should fit right here. So, I don't know if I'm gonna have enough time today before work, but probably tomorrow I'm just gonna gut that whole radio tray and all the things that I have hooked up to it. We're gonna give this a try. And if this fits, we can cut out additional holes. Hey, cup holders right here, guys. I need cup holders. <laughs> but I need the little inserts to go into those too, so. Cup holders, CB radio, all the switches. Guys, I'm really stoked about that, so.
This is one of the sweetest rigs I've seen. Check out this cage. I'm like incredibly jealous of this cage. Now when I saw a picture of this, I was thinking, how the heck are you supposed to lift that tire up to hold it in place? Check this out. They've got this ratcheting system that pulls it up into place. Super jealous of this cage. Now every time I come to Plan B Supply, they have a new product that I want. I had no idea they were making these center consoles. <clears throat> now these center consoles, you can have them either coated or they come raw, but none of these holes are already cut. You cut your own holes to fit, you know, the radios or whatever peripherals you've got. And I'm working on trying to figure out how I can get one of these things because if you've seen my center It's not even a center console. It's a center area. It's a disaster So I need one of these so I can install a radio install my CB radio All my things I got wires and crap running everywhere. So <clears throat> These will be on their website soon Let's go see what else they've got That is it. Thank you guys for joining me at Plan B Supply. Uh, these guys have been really cool to help me out with a lot of things. And it's nice to have somebody nearby so when I break stuff, they know how to fix it. Huge shout out to my friend Corey that works here. He's, he's always looking out for me. Um, I'm gonna put a link down below that's got their website. They're redoing the website. So some of these products that I've been showing you aren't listed yet, but they will be probably in the next week or two weeks. And you can check them out. I've got I've bought a lot of stuff from these guys. Uh, they've hooked me up with a lot of deals. So go check them out. If you own a Humvee or you're interested in a Humvee, they have a program where you, you can bring your own Humvee and they'll upgrade it. So yeah, until next time, I will catch you guys later. Are you ready to go? Mm -hmm. Say bye guys. I got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems I solve them I run through the money, the pressure be calling Left on my blessings, I feel like I'm falling The birdie is back, tell me I'm garbage I'm going through something, that's why I ain't calling Phone and progression, it's all that I wanted The phone and affection, I summon and dub it Cause I got problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems I solve them, I run through the money, the pressure be calling